welcome. 10 reason how to exceed the excellency of God. And number one, position yourself in the presence of God. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Hey, glory to God. Be thankful unto him and blessed his name. Number two, place your mind on him. Amen. The Bible said, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Number three, practice living right. Be holy because I, the Lord, am holy. Number four, patient, wait on God for his spirit. Yes, wait on God or be patient, wait on God for his spirit. Don't lose your weight. Hey, glory to God. Don't lose your W-A-I-T. Not W-E-I-G-H-T, but don't lose. Wait, I say, on the Lord. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mother wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Glory to God. Number fifth reason. Hey, glory to God. Put the flesh in his place because no flesh shall glory in my presence. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So put the flesh in its place because no flesh shall glory in my presence. And number six reason is promises for praising the Lord. Number one, it is protection for God. Number two, gifts and surprises. No good thing will be whole from them that walk uprightly before him. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number seven, it's not painful experience. Amen. To, to praise the Lord. Amen. Those that praise the Lord don't fall down and hurt themselves. Number two, those that praise the Lord don't knock people down. Hey, glory to God. Because if you have the Spirit of God, the Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. And number eighth reason about praising the Lord now, not just a physical situation. Lift up your hands to praise God. Sing to glorify God and bow to his reference in his presence. Amen. And number knife reason, it is a person we praise Jesus Christ. It is a person, not things, my friend, but as a person we praise God. And number tenth reason, the price it takes to praise the Lord is present your body as a living sacrifice. Hey, glory to God. The price it takes to praise the Lord is to present your body as a living sacrifice. So God expect us to praise him. Hey, glory to God. Praise God just don't mean you praising God to show off. But you're praising God because you're trying to exceed the excellency of God. Praise is God's address. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, I wish a man would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful work toward him the, the, for men. So God want us to praise him. We don't praise God because we feel like it. David said, I will bless the Lord at all, A-L-L, all the times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. So how to exceed the excellency of God? We got to position ourselves. Hey, glory to God. We got to place our mind on him. Hey, we got to practice living right. We got to patient wait on God. Number five, put the flesh in its place. Number six, 
It's a promise to praise the Lord. Number eight, it's not painful, amen, situation, amen, or experience. Number eight, it's not a physical situation. Number nine, it's a person we praise. And number ten, the price it takes to praise the Lord. Amen. Ten reason how to exceed the excellency of God. And if we do those ten things, my friend, we can exceed the excellency in praising the God of the universe. Because the God of the universe is not Allah. The God of the universe is not Buddha. The God of the universe is not Shanto. The God of the universe is not Russellite. The God of the universe is not Glory to God. White. Glory to God. The God of the universe, my friend, is not Buddha. But the God of the universe is JC. Hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ. God expect us to praise him. When we rise in the morning, we ought to praise him. When we go to our work site, we ought to praise him. When we down and out, we ought to praise him. We don't just praise God just on Friday. Thank God it's Friday. But no, what about thank God it's Monday. It's a marvelous Monday. Thank God for Tuesday. It is terrific Tuesday. Thank God for Wednesday. It is wonderful Wednesday. Thank God for Thursday. It is terrific Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And thank God for Friday. It is fabulous Friday. Thank God for Saturday. It is super Saturday. And thank God for Sunday. It is surrendous. Hey, glory to God. So every day I'm going to praise God because 10 reasons how to exceed the excellency of God. Glory to God because God want his people to praise him. Because when say when praises go up, blessings blessings come down. Do you want to be blessed today? Do you want to be healed today? Do you want to be set free from the witch and the wizard? Glory to God. I expect God expect you to praise him. Because when praises go up, my friend, he will let the enemy behave. He let the enemy move out your way because he's God and he expects his people to praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm praising him right now because he's good to me. He's been good to me all my life. Oh, glory. While I was in sin, he died for me. While I was out there, he delivered me. So God expect his people. Oh, glory to God. I dare you to praise him. Glory to God. 